I am married, though. We got married people in here. Everybody in here. All right. Let's, welcome to Provo. It's good, though. I try to be a good husband. I try really hard. I try to be a good listener. I really do. Like, I will see the lips flapping, and I'll think to myself, I'm going to listen, 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 I'm going to listen. Oh, crap. What did you say? You know, I think that all married men have this problem. You know, maybe, like, doctors should come up with a name for it. Maybe, like, husband attention deficit disorder. That way you go to the doctor, he'll say, I know what's wrong with you. You've been married for 18 years. You've been had. <laughs> I kid, though. It's great. I try to be a good husband. I try really hard. I, I fail a lot. We were at a friend's wedding reception, and uh, in the middle of the reception, he got up, and he was like, I would now like to perform for you all a song. I wrote about my new wife. And I was like, dang, that is good. He is totally scoring some points. And so later on, on, I was like, I should do that. I got up and I was like, I would now like to perform for you all a joke or what about my wife? <laughs> I did not rack up any points that night. I got some negative points. My game was over. She's a tough lady, though. She's really, she's in charge. She's got this, uh, she's got this list on the fridge. She calls it her honeydews, you know? She's got the things I'm gonna do, and my OCD kicks in, I start checking off the list. I got that done, I got that done. And pretty soon I was like, that is a bunch of crap! Those aren't honeydews, those are man chores. <laughs> Just like I'm a kid again. That's not right. She does. She does wear the pants in the family. She wears the pants in the relationship, though. That's, that's the way it is when you're married. My, my single friends don't understand. You know, they'd be like, Mike, aren't there married couples out there where the man wears the pants in the family? It's like, yeah, those guys are called wife beaters. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Those guys are jerks. What's going on with it, man? Worth it. We had the whole argument about the toilet seat one time. You guys done that at all? Nobody's done that. She was like, you should leave the seat down for me at night so I don't fall in. And I was joking around. I was like, maybe you should leave the seat up for me because I'm the man of the house. Ah! And uh, so now I pee sitting down. It's not an applause joke. <laughs>